Hey guy. <laughs> oh my god, I better get my voice sorted out because I'm going on my very first stealth date in the daytime. So I'm going to a shopping mall. We'll just meet at a cafe. <clears throat> we will meet at a cafe and just have coffee. Keep it simple. I don't know what's going to happen. He might clock me. He might not find me attractive. I don't know. Maybe there'll be no chemistry. We'll see. Jeez, look how horrible this is. An awful place for a date. Yuck. Hey guys. Hello. <laughs> so I had my first ever stealth date um, at the mall. So yeah, so I'm not used to meeting guys or during daytime. Normally I'm a nighttime date kind of girl and not in a public place, believe it or not. I prefer to be in my own space, but I thought why not just meet them in a public space like normal people do. It was very anxiety for me. There was a lot of people around, a lot of noise. Um, he got lost. He was at the wrong end of the mall. I was at the wrong end. We were taking photos to see where we were. Um, the date went okay. Um, I don't know if I will go much further. Um, you know, you just didn't, I don't know if I felt much of a spark. I think he was into me. Um, he didn't clock me in any way. Uh, as far as I'm aware, he didn't think anything. Um, so I think maybe I can do the dating thing. Um, just meet them in public and do the normal thing. <laughs> Feels weird. Yeah, I'm still not ready. I don't think I'm ready to date. Um, I just wanted to, I just wanted to have someone, you know, go on a date and feel normal, you know. So one thing I am starting to do is to do a little vo video call with the guy. So I just adjusted my hair. Um, I had it cut a little bit shorter the other day and she put the extensions in all wrong. Like she's put them up like up here like I've got a strip here and it's like you can actually see it like it's really awkward so it's just like I've got to get those redone um but anyway so I'm starting to do like a little video call just to see if we vibe if there's like I don't know they get to see me I get to see them um and that's kind of a quick way of I don't know it's like a video date. Uh, I did have one guy say, do you smoke or vape? And I was like, that's a weird question. I said, no. He goes, you're very tall for a girl. <laughs> I think he clocked me or just my voice was probably a little deeper than he expected. I didn't click with him either, so I didn't really care. Um, so yeah, that's kind of one way of doing it. So we just went to the mall, we had coffee. Um, I did get a little bit of anxiety, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I don't think he clocked me like I said before. So yeah, he wanted to go back to his place later for wine. And I was like, mm, I think we should talk a bit more on text. English was not his first language. He's from uh, Turkey, so he was handsome. But I just, yeah, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, this is all a bit much for me at the moment. Guys that are in the sort of 35 to 45, 49, 50 age bracket have baggage and there's things they've been through, um, you know, they've got kids or they're going through divorce or they family court or something like there's always something that's lurking around there <laughs> my friend a cisgendered girl she said it's like um, buying strawberries that have been on the shelf for a long time and when you buy them there's some something going on in there like some rot or some like 
fruit flies in there it's like that's why they've been on the shelf for so long <laughs> um yeah so i just had a guy on bumble say oh i'm going through family court you know i've got a one-year-old daughter i don't you know if that puts you off i i don't mind um i understand and i said look it's fine guys in your age bracket have got stuff you're dealing with it's kind of the way it is so it doesn't put me off um another thing i'm noticing is um i've tested this out on a couple of guys on bumble i've said I've got to tell you something I can't have children they're like why why can't you have children I say because I'm intersex I, I'll say I've got I'm not actually technically not lying I'll say look I've got all the female parts I just can't have children it's a chromosomal issue and um, I've got all the female parts it's a medical thing and they're like oh sorry to hear oh gosh you know that must be difficult um, it's not a problem I've already got kids doesn't matter but and that happened with three guys three guys were fine with it and then this one guy came up who I was not attracted to at all and I thought I'm gonna test I am gonna test the transgender thing on him so I said hey I've got to tell you something I can't have kids and he said why and I was like well I'm transgender I'm a I'm post-op so I have a vagina but I'm transgender he went silent and then 10 minutes later he said it's not really my thing but good luck so that was interesting that they can't get over if you were born or assigned male but they can get over it if they think you were assigned female but you just have a medical problem that's the shit I'm dealing with so maybe the intersex thing is a way of doing it because I'm not really lying I'm telling them there's a medical issue and um, I've had it corrected so yeah and the guys I'm talking to don't want kids they're all a bit older so they've already got kids they tell me they don't want children yeah so that's my little update on my date um, I don't know if this guy's gonna message me he seemed to be he seemed to be sweet on me during the date um, you know looking into my eyes being very um I don't know flirtatious oh my god I think he just texted me yeah okay see you guys bye